Hi, my name is Becca, for those of you who don't know me, and this is Becca Reads, my video series where I'm reading children's books. This particular book is a little different than previous books because I actually customized it online at a website called wonderbly.com, and I'll include the website in the video description in case anybody is interested in one of their own, and I was able to personalize a book for my nephew Johnny. So this book is called Kingdom of You. It is illustrated by Maria Tiorina, written by David Kaji Newby, art and design by Georgia Sherion, produced by Jonathan Attenborough, and the technology is by Daisy Smith. They did put an inscription into this book. Uh, Johnny, I hope your life is filled with grand adventures, fabulous stories, and people who love you. Love always, Auntie Becca. And with that, our story begins. This is Johnny. Johnny has had enough. Enough of being told what to do by everybody. Go to bed. Turn that off. Tidy your room. His room's not even messy. Well, not very. But what's this? His pile of laundry is moving. Socks and trousers and pants and t-shirts rise to form a laundry genie. Good morning, Johnny. I am the genie of the unwashed socks. And I am here to grant you three wishes, cries Johnny. Oh, thank you. Three wishes for me. Use them wisely, warns the genie. But Johnny doesn't need to think. He knows exactly what to wish for. I wish I was king of my very own kingdom. And nobody could tell me what to do. Kazam! Johnny is now King Johnny. Everyone bows and curtsies, calling him your majesty. He can have anything he wants, and nobody can tell him what to do. Wow, thinks King Johnny. What a brilliant day. And he still has two wishes left. And your next wish, says the genie. Now, King Johnny loves dinosaurs. He loves dinosaurs almost as much as he dislikes being told what to do. I wish, says King Johnny, that my kingdom was full of dinosaurs. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Kazam! Wow, thinks King Johnny, taking a ride on the back of an Allosaurus. This is awesome. And he's still got one wish left. And for your third third wish? Hmm. 
King Johnny is starting to feel hungry. And he loves ice cream. He loves ice cream almost as much as he loves dinosaurs. I wish, says King Johnny, for a big, no, a huge, no, a monster cone of ice cream. Kazam! King Johnny claps his hands together and tucks in. He has never been happier. Gosh, thinks King Johnny, feeling rather full. This ice cream is big. Actually, King Johnny, trying not to burp, it's huge. And that, thinks King Johnny, backing away in alarm, it really is a monster. It's an ice cream monster. The ice cream monster stampedes through King Johnny's kingdom, causing confusion, creating calamity, and crushing everything it comes across. It's chaos. King Johnny looks around for help, but the stegosaurus sobs, the triceratops trembles, the tyrannosaurus turns tail and flees. The ice cream monster is in Invincible. What can King Johnny do? He's the king. He better sort things out. His subjects need him. Fortunately, King Johnny knows everything there is to know about ice cream, and he knows that an ice cream cone's weakest point is its cone. He calls an emergency meeting of all the dinosaurs. Where's the Alkaliosaurus? King Johnny says, my kingdom needs you. The Ankylosaurus lumbers towards the ice cream monster and smashes a hole right through its cone. No oh, crumbs, wails the ice cream monster as pink sludge oozes out. I'm done for! It oozes and oozes and oozes until it's just a sugary, sludgy puddle, so sad and unappetizing that even King Johnny doesn't want to eat it. Oh dear, the ice cream monster may have been defeated, but King Johnny's kingdom is a monstrous mess. So he starts cleaning up all the icky, sticky wreckage. It's his mess. It's up to him to clean it up. The genie reappears, giving King Johnny a bit of a fright. Um, hello, he says. Hello, you've done a good job on that ice cream, your majesty. 
I guess, sighs King Johnny. But still, being able to do whatever I want, it's not as much fun as I thought. I sort of wish everything was back to like before. Well, that's lucky, says the genie, because I tend to find, particularly with small boys, that four wishes are preferable to three. Kazam! Everything's back to the way it was right at the beginning. Well, almost. I do hope you enjoyed the book. And once again, I will provide the web address for Wonderbly in the description of the video.